In this video, we'll be learning how to sketch the sine curve as well as the cosine curve. Now, what we'll start with is a sine curve. That's y equals to sine of x. And to begin with, let's just remind ourselves of what sine of x actually is. Well, the sine of x function is quite simply the vertical coordinate, or the height if you wish, of a point moving around a unit circle. Now we have a unit circle in the upper right hand corner here, this one here, and let's see, if we were to name this point, the point with coordinates 1, 0, if we were to just label it point A, point A will always be our starting point when we move around a unit circle, always. And if we consider a second point, which is moving along the circumference of this circle, say point P, which I'll draw here in blue, the angle made by the radius OP, O being the origin, with the radius OA, is the angle which we're calling X here. And we measure this angle anti-clockwise. That is to say, an angle measured anti-clockwise is the positive direction for measuring angles. If we measure an angle clockwise, then that angle would be considered negative. Now, the sine of x, as we said, is the vertical coordinate of this point P. In other words, at this angle x here, sine of x is just this value here, this vertical coordinate. So keeping that in mind, let's get started and see how we can sketch y equals to sine of x. Now I've prepared a couple of things here as you can see and we're going to fill all of these in one by one. The first thing we'll do is create a table of values. Now the way we do this is the first row is for the various angles x and the second row will be for the various values of sine of x. And we're going to focus on a few key angles around the unit circle. Now if we look at this unit circle to the right here. As I move around this unit circle, there are some key values that we're going to want to highlight. The first is the starting angle. When I'm here, the angle is 0. Then when I move up 90 degrees, that's pi over 2. Carrying on, halfway around the circle is pi. 3 quarters of the way around the circle would correspond to 3 pi over 2. And finally, a full turn around the circle would be 2 pi. And so the, f the values we're going to be focusing on are the values 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. We'll always focus on those values when we'll sketch sine and cosine curves. And the reason for that is because those are the values at which we see the largest x and y coordinates on the unit circle. Now let's get started. For x equals to 0, that's here on the unit circle, the vertical coordinate of this point is 0. So sine of 0 is 0. Next, as we move around the unit circle, when x equals to pi over 2, that's an angle of pi over 2, we can see that the vertical coordinate is 1. That means that when x equals to pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1, which we've put in the table. Still, carrying on, carrying on around the unit circle, when we reach the angle pi, that's half the way around the unit circle, we're here, and we can see that the vertical coordinate at this point is 0. And that means that sine of pi is 0. Next, moving around the unit circle, we go all the way around 270 degrees, which is 3 pi over 2, and we're at this point here, and we can see that the vertical coordinate here is negative 1. And this translates to the fact that sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Finally, we do a full turn around the circle, so that's an angle x equal to 2 pi, and we're back to, at our starting point, and here the vertical coordinate is 0. 
And this means that sine of 2 pi equals to 0. Now these are the key points we'll always need to draw a sine curve. And here's why. We've just gone around the unit circle once. In other words, we've done a full turn. And a very important thing to remember is that the sine function has a period of 2 pi. And that's exactly what we've done here in our table. We've looked at some key values at the beginning of the period up to the end. So from 0 to 2 pi, we've done one full period. And in fact, we've done the first full period of the sine curve. The first one. Now, if we plot all these points, the first row being the x-coordinate, the second row being the y-coordinates, we're going to be able to make a sketch of this first period. So we have 0, 0, which is the origin here, which I'm placing in blue. The second point is pi over 2, 1. Pi over 2 is just 0 0.5 pi, or half of pi. So that would be here. The next point is pi 0, so that would be this point here. The next point is 3 pi over 2, negative 1. So 3 pi over 2 is the same as 1 and a half pi, so that's over here. And finally, we have 2 pi 0. That's this point here. And now that we've plotted these points, we can make a sketch of our sine curve. Or at least we can make a sketch of its first period. And making it look somewhat wavy, we've now sketched the first period. And the good thing is here, if we simply follow the pattern we can see with these blue points, we can just sketch the entire curve without doing any calculations or without I want to say think too much. All we really need to do here is focus on these blue points and the pattern that they make. So following this pattern I can see that the next point would be here, the following would be here, the following would be here, the next would be there, and the next would be there. So I can now sketch this curve even further and carry on. It's going to go up here, up here, and finally up there, and it will start going back down. And why not go further into the negative values of x? So those would be angles we'd obtain going clockwise around the unit circle. So I'd have it here, 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 and here. And finally, we can sketch this part of the sine curve. And there we have it. We've just sketched our sine curve. Now, it's very important here to remember this particular table here, this table of values. So long as you go along the first period in increments of pi over 2, so that's 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi, you'll be able to sketch the sine curve very, very easily, just as we've done here. And in fact, as we're about to see, we're going to use exactly the same method for the cosine curve. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we've seen how to sketch sine of x, we learn how to sketch cosine of x. And it's very similar. The key difference is that cosine of x is defined as the horizontal coordinate of the point moving around the unit circle. So look at our unit circle in the top right hand corner here. If I call this point P, this generic point P, and our starting point A, then just to clarify, the angle x we're referring to here when we say cos of x is this angle here, and therefore cosine of x would be the horizontal coordinate of this point P, right here. So that's co cosine of x. Now, we're going to go back to our table of values and we'll use exactly the same one as we did for sine of x. So we can go right ahead and enter the, va the angles we'll use. So remember, we, st we said x at 0, at pi over 2, at pi, at 3 pi over 2, and at 2 pi. So if you think in degrees, those angles would be 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. And the second row are the values of cosine of x. Now. 
Let's get started and look at the unit circle we have on the right hand side here. So I'll just highlight in red here our starting point again, little red dot. And now the first angle we're interested in is the angle at our starting point. So if our point is here, the angle that it's making is zero. So at zero, what is the horizontal coordinate of this point? And we can see that the horizontal coordinate is 1. This means that cosine of 0 equals to 1. So we write that in our table. Cosine of 0 is 1. We carry on. We move around the unit circle up to 90 degrees, or pi over 2. And we can see that the horizontal coordinate of this point is 0. And so cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0, which we enter into our table of values. We carry on this way, we go all the way around to an angle pi, and now the horizontal coordinate of this point is negative 1. So cosine of pi is equal to negative 1, which we add to our table here. We carry on, going through an angle of 3 pi over 2, that brings us at the bottom here, and we can see that the horizontal coordinate of this point is 0. So we can write cosine of 3 pi over 2 is equal to 0. Finally, if we go all the way around the unit circle, making therefore a full turn, one full period, we can see that we're back at our starting point, and the horizontal coordinate of this point is 1. And there we go. Now, we now have enough points to plot and sketch the first period of our cosine curve. Just as the, cos as the sine curve did, the cosine curve has a period of 2 pi. And so this table of values gives us points to sketch the first period of y equals to cosine of x. So let's go ahead and plot those points. So we have the points 0, 1, which would be here. We have the point pi over 2, 0, which would be here. Pi negative 1, so that's going to be here. 3 pi over 2, 0, so that's just 1 and a half pi, 0. We have 2 pi, 1, so that's the point here. Now that we've plotted these points, we can sketch the first period of the cosine curve by joining these points in a smooth, wavy fashion. And there we go. And now we can find the rest of the cosine curve just by following the pattern that these blue points are making. So doing that without doing any calculations, just following the pattern, I can see that the next point will be here, followed by here, followed by this point there, followed by this point, and followed by that point. So joining these, curve, these points, It should look something like that. And we'll carry on into negative angles, negative values of x. I can see that we should have a point there, a point here, a point here, and a point here. And I can join those points as well. And there we go. That's, our, that's the curve of y equals to cosine of x. And the key thing to remember here is that all we needed to sketch this curve was this table of values. And we're going to be using this table of values a lot for much more complicated sine and cosine curves as well. So make a note of this table of values, in particular the angles 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. And there we have it.